Hello. I'm a crazy hot mess today. As usual. I don't even know why I need my glasses on. Like, be for real. Okay, let's see if it's gonna stay. Sometimes like the... Sometimes it'll cut out, but hello you guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, boo. Okay, I know you guys are probably still like at work or getting off work or I don't even know all the things. I don't know what everybody's schedule is, but I just wanted to pop on really quickly because, hey Carly Boo, um, because Chris helped me, I'm doing laundry right now, so I'm literally like hiding out in the laundry room because where else would I get any quiet moment? Um, I'm, I'm like Chris helped me, like seriously helped me last night realize so much about how I work this business, but he really, like we were having a conversation about, I can't even remember what started it, but we were having a conversation about like business and like he really helped me realize why I'm not afraid. No, this video is not sponsored by Tide. Um, he really helped me realize why I was not afraid to cold message. And I just wanted to come on really quickly to share it with you guys because I felt like it would help everybody um, to, to hear this, okay? Because when I said it to myself, I was like, oh my gosh, what an epiphany, like, not an epiphany, but I mean, it was like, wow, I, you know, you acknowledge finally. You like realize that is why you've been doing something because of this reason. So if you tag your teams really quick, invite them on. Um, let me see what I'm trying to do here. I don't even know because I just feel like this is something that we could all benefit from. So I know that you guys all know that I message people and I first message them to be a distributor, um, or host a post. Okay. So I'm messaging them first for both of those things first. So I'm, I'm, it just depends on, you know, the, the flow of the conversation, how it goes. But I usually first am reaching out to ask them to be a distributor. And then if they say, you know, or I'm reaching out to ask them to make a, a post for me and I can enter them into my giveaway. So either one of those things that they do, I either, I go up or, or down from there. So if I first start with host to post and they make a post for me, then I'm going to ask them, Hey, and you know, we've got some amazing products. Have you seen any of our latest stuff? Ask them to be a customer for me. Basically, if they say no, you know, I'm not interested or, you know, whatever. Um, you know, I, I will say sometimes like, Hey, no worries. Um, but if you're ever looking to make some extra income or anything, you know, I've looked at your page. I think you'd be amazing at what I do. I'd love to have you on my team. I just kind of, you know, whatever I reach out with first, I start with that. And then I just kind of like upsell or downsell. So if I reach out to them to be a distributor first and they're like, no, I'm like, oh, okay, no worries. Just be a customer. You know, let me show you some of the products. Um, Carly and Sarah, you guys have a great script for that. Let me tell you about some of our most popular products. See if you'd be interested in anything. Um, because I've already kind of touched base with that person, you know, and reached out to them. Okay. Well then you guys, so like if they don't want to be a distributor, I, I offer them to be a customer. If they don't want to be a customer, I offer for them to just do a host to post for me and get entered into my giveaway. But you guys, I realized last night and Chris said something to me that just totally, it made so much sense. He was like, you just like message everybody. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not afraid to message anybody. I message everybody. And he was like, wow, you know, that's really good. Like so many people are afraid of cold messaging. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, you're right. But like, I'm not afraid because if they don't want to do any of those things, even if they didn't want to make a host a post for me, it doesn't matter to me because guess what? Guess who's going to be my new best friend on social media? This person that I've been talking to. This person that I reached out to. If they are not interested right then, the next thing that I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm their best friend on social media. I'm liking all their stuff. I'm commenting. I'm getting on their lives. You know, I'm tuning in. I'm, I'm in their inbox. Like, 
I'm replying to their stories, you know, I'm getting in there and I'm getting to know them and I'm connecting with them on a fun friendship level. And then the next thing that I know, guess what? Karen's wanting all the stuff that I have to offer. You know what I'm saying? Because I I don't care if they say no. I'm not afraid of the no. I have truly detached myself from the no, you guys. Just like a waitress offering pie or dessert or whatever it is to every table. You know, do you guys want dessert? No. She doesn't just give up and quit her job. Like, she goes to the next table. Do you guys want dessert? Like, I truly have detached myself from the no. It doesn't hurt my feelings anymore. Yeah, I mean, do I want customers? Do I want volume? Of course. But I truly have detached myself from the no. So when they say no, it's like, oh, no worries, girl. Like, whatever. And then I'm their best friend. I'm in their, I'm, I'm on their lives. I'm in their news feed, blowing them up, saying how great they are, how much I love their kids, how cute their dog is, whatever, whatever it is, whatever they're posting, they care about it. And it's probably some of the most important stuff in their life. So I'm connecting with that. I'm getting in their inbox and telling them I'm praying for them if they're, if they said that they're not feeling well. And telling them, woo, I'm so glad I've got my, you know, superfood mix because that has kept me from getting sick all this season, you know, so far. Or whatever. I don't, I don't say things that are super, you know, buy my product-y. But I do just kind of, you know, remind, like say something like, you know, gently dripping on them like that. And that's why I'm not afraid to cold message or talk to people or say anything because I am not afraid to... I'm just going to be their friend if they say no. No big deal. Like, we're going to be friends. Do you want this too? No? Cool. Yes? Cool. Like, you know, and so I really want to encourage you guys today that not only should you be following up because today is Friday. It's the best day to follow up. Um, And I'd love to help you do that if you're not sure how. I have so many scripts, you guys. But um, seriously, I just realized that as I was messaging last night and I was talking to Chris and he, I forget exactly what he said that made me think of it but he just you know he did say like so many people are afraid of cold messaging and I'm just thinking like why because we're just connecting with people we're friends we're professional friends on Facebook and so we don't care we don't care if they say no for now just get connected with them stay you know make sure that every month you're saying hey girl I know you weren't interested last month but I'm doing another giveaway this month if you'd like to be be entered I'd love to enter you you know would you be interested and ask them that question. Make sure you're ending it in that question, you know, and um, offering something to them and ending that in a question. That way they always kind of feel like they need to respond. But that's why I'm not afraid of, of cold messaging someone or saying, you know, hey, join my team, girl. Because if they say no, no worries. Be a customer. No, no worries. Make a post. No, no worries. We're going to be best friends and I'm going to blow you up till you see something of mine that you love and, and want to try. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to come on and share that really quick because I felt like you guys needed to hear it because I think we're just so scared anymore. Like nowadays, we don't want to connect with people. It's like pulling teeth, like to call someone on the phone and like actually talk to a human, you know, like we're just all so afraid of connecting in real life. (laughs) Imagine that, that I think we forget that we can just be friends with them. We can connect with them. We can just love on them, pour into them for the next month, weeks, however long, whatever it takes. And then we'll be able to, you know, offer them. They're going to have something that they're going to fall in love with and want. So I just wanted to share that really quickly. Um, I got to go because the princess has arrived and is home from school. But I wanted to share that so that you guys would have that tip and that it maybe would give you a little bit of courage and confidence that if they say no, that's okay. It's just no for now. Do this tip. Watch the replay if you're just logging in. And do this tip. And I'm telling you guys, if you stay connected, stay engaged, stay a, a friend of theirs, then eventually they're gonna, you're going to have something that they're going to want and they're going to use and they're going to love and fall in love with. And they're going to be able to connect with you and learn about you more and feel more like they want to, to buy from you or like they want to partner with you and do what you do. I'm just telling you, I have so many messages in my inbox right now of women saying, I just want you to know that I love watching your lives. I love watching your posts. I love your stories. I just wish I could do what you do, you know, whatever. I just don't have your personality. But if, it's just so great that you can, it's okay if they say no, it's okay. So I'm so excited for you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. It's follow-up Friday, so let's do all the things. Let's send all the screenshots. If you need help, let me know. I got you, booze. Hope this helps. Love you. Bye.